Hi guys, it's February and I know Valentine's Day is rapidly approaching. Um, I know a lot of you guys out there are probably very nervous asking the girl of your dreams out and maybe a lot of you girls are like getting nervous at preparing for this special day because it could be your first date or that very special day you've been waiting for all year round. Um, so I thought to do this makeup look that can not only show or represent you in the most natural and the most true way but also still look glamorous and amazing and feel dolled up and totally pretty, fresh, flirty and sweet all in one. So this is basically my, like, I guess my interpretation of what the ideal makeup look for Valentine's Day. As usual, I start off with a primer in order to help protect my skin but also allow the foundation to appear more smoother and last longer. I'm using the base Lumiere from Chanel which dries clear so I'm applying it all over my face with my favourite foundation brush. Now that the base is set, I'm going to apply a lightweight hydrating foundation with buildable coverage. I use the color B20 if anyone is wondering. I find that after it oxidizes on my skin, it blends in perfectly. No surprise, I'm using Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer to cover up my dark circles, but also at the same time brighten the eye area. Now I look more alive. See how well this brush blends everything? Of course, every time I film a makeup tutorial, one of my pimples gets so excited that it has to pop up and say hi. So I'm using the NARS concealer in custard and dotting over the blemish and then blending it out again with the same brush. Okay, now to set the perfect canvas, I have chosen this loose powder from Chanel that has micro shimmer and glitter particles that is only visible under direct light. I think it's great for that overall glow, plus I thought why not something special for that special day. So now onto the eyebrows. I want to keep it nice and simple. Not too thick, not too thin, not too straight, not too curvy. Just give your natural eyebrows some definition and of course don't forget to blend. I'm using the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer as I will be using some glittery eyeshadow for this look and I would like to keep the eyeshadow intact all day. I'm using the Tom Ford Trio eyeshadow palette which is limited edition but I'm sure you guys can find something similar. Using the lattice color, which is kind of like a white with a pink tinge to it, I'm going to apply that to the inner corners and under the brow bone to highlight those areas. Then using this champagne-ish pinkish color in the middle with an eyeshadow brush, I'm applying this color to the entire mobile eyelid, blending it slightly above the crease to make my eyes appear bigger and shrinking the eyelid space so that my monolids don't look so obvious, or so as I'm tempting to. Now this part might be tricky for some of you. I'm using the back of an eyeshadow brush to gently lift off my eyelid so that I can color in my upper waterline and lash line with a waterproof brown eyeliner. Once that's done, let's curl them lashes and apply your favorite mascara. Personally, lashes make me feel more girly and sweet, so I'm going to wear some fake lashes with a slight wing at the outer corners to give me the floaty look since I have non-existent lashes. Here I am using velour lashes in You Complete Me, how fitting, and using lash glue and this handy tool to apply it closest to my lash line. And remember, you gotta make sure these fit your eyes and that you feel absolutely comfortable wearing them because you don't want them falling off during that special day. These ones are perfect because it's made with 100% mink hair, which is super soft and the lash band is very comfortable. See the difference some lashes make? Oh my god. Now using some liquid eyeliner, draw a very thin line over the lash band. Not only helps better define the eyes, but cover up any unevenness that the lashes can create when glued onto the eyes. Especially when you have eyes like mine. Oh, don't forget to blend your natural lashes with a fake one so that it doesn't create that creepy double lash look. Okay, now onto the fun part. Using the glitter color from the palette and clean fingers or brush, apply the shimmer to the inner corners and the center of the eyelid. Bling it out. With M Cosmetic Rose Gold Waterliner, let's brighten and clean up the bottom waterline to create that bigger, more innocent, dull eye effect. Now this part is optional, but for those monolids or quadruple lids like me, apply a bit of matte brown eyeshadow above the eyeliner so that when you open your eyes, you can better see the eyeliner. I also do that to the bottom lash line so that it kind of looks like a drop shadow effect, if you know what I'm saying. Now you can apply mascara to the bottom lashes. Now the eyes are complete, let's zoom out to contour the nose, cheekbones, hairline and jawline. I also apply some bronzer to my double chin because I honestly think one chin is enough for the special day. 
I have picked a Supernatural blush by e.l.f. and apply that directly above the contour. See how it blends so well? Now onto the lips. First apply some lip balm to moisturize the lips and then using a lip stain because you don't want lipstick or lip gloss to go all over the place like in your hair, on your teeth, on your clothes. So lip stain plus lip liner is the best combo. Use a lip liner to better define the lips and the stain will give you color all day long. Voila! This is a complete look. Now this look will go with anything you decide to wear wherever you're going. Have fun! So this is a complete look. I wanted to basically create something that not only allows you to still have your own personality and your natural skin and features shine through, but also make you still feel girly and flirty and pretty and sweet at the same time. Um, so basically everything's very, very natural and very basic and neutral. If you, if you don't usually wear makeup, so maybe wearing a little, bit, a, a little bit of mascara on that special day is enough for you, then just go ahead and do that. Um, and I know that maybe some of you guys don't want to wear makeup at all and you don't have to so this is totally for you to just for your enjoyment basically. I heard that there have been like makeup malfunctions on dates where your eyelashes fall off or maybe your lipstick stains your teeth or that your eyeliner is smudged. I mean there's so many dilemmas that you could have during a date and I thought why not stick to something as basic as neutral as possible so you can I guess minimize the problems that it might occur. If you decide to do this look for a Valentine's Day, then remember to take a photo of yourself and hashtag me uh, on Instagram and I'll definitely go ahead and like it. Also, let me know below what is your ideal Valentine's Day date because I have been to a few that have been quite, you know, disastrous. And also, if you guys want some like advice and tips on how to prepare for your first date, I also have a video on that which tells you a lot of information which I think is quite crucial on this special day. So I hope you guys have fun. Remember, just be yourself, enjoy. It is, you know, a celebration of love and it's a great day to show how much you love the people that you love. All right, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.